2000 UKMT, United Kingdom Mathematics Trust, before BMO. Problem number 24. How many pairs of positive integers x and y satisfy the equation root x minus square root of 17 equal to square root of y? 0, 1, 2, 17, infinitely many. Before solving the problem, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Okay, let's start. I will solve this problem with two solutions. Solution number one, you can use the time codes to see the solution. Solution number one is only for this problem to find the right choice, and it's quick and fast. Solution number two is full solution, and for example, if it is in a full solution exam, round two. So let's focus. Root x minus root 17 equal to root y. We can conclude from here that if I take root 17 to right hand side and root y to left hand side, it will be root x minus root y equal to root 17. So I want to see, create some examples. For example, because here we have root 17, say, so okay, if I have root 17 here, for example, 1 root 17 minus 0, but they say positive integer. So let's consider if I have 2 root 17 minus root 17, the subtraction is root 17. And in this case, we can say it is equivalent that 2 root 17. If you take it inside the square root, because 2 equal to root 2 squared, or root 4. So I say 4 times 17 minus root 17 equal to root 17. 4 root 17, root 4 times 17 will be 4 times 7, 28, and 68 minus 17 equal to 17. So here, for example, in this example, I can say x equal to 68, y equal to 70. So easily, you can see this and conclude, okay, instead of 2 root 17, you can do the same way, 3 root 17, okay? Let me write it in second step. You say, okay, 3 root 17 minus 2 root 17 equal to root 17, and easily, you can say x equal 3 is in outside. You should take it inside. It will be 9 times 17. And y, you should take 2 inside. 4 times 17, like previous one. So it is this. And you will see, okay, you can also write 4 root 17 minus 3 root 17 equal to root 17. Again, you can say x equal to 16 times 17, y equal to 9 times 17. So we will see, we should only say two perfect square times 17 consecutive perfect square. So the answer is E. This one easily, you could see this. I've just explained more. And if you want to write the general form, you say x equal to n plus one squared times 17 y equal to n squared times 17. And it is the answer only by this. You could also imagine the whole solution. You, you could say, okay, it is 2 root 17 minus root 17, 3 root 17 minus 2 root 17. And easily in less than 10 seconds, you say the answer is the, I've just explained to understand it completely. Now, I want to find all answers of this equation if it was in a full solution exam. So let's consider solution number two. Solution number two, our equation was root x minus root y equal to root 17. So let me write, or let's write the first equation here. Root x minus root 17 equal to y. So we have root x minus root 17 equal to root y. This idea is so much useful. Also, I saw this idea in BMO. 
It's useful in many Olympiads. I want to prove, let me tell you, I want to prove what? I want to prove that X has to be, for example, K root 17, which K is positive integer, and Y also has to be, for example, T root 17. I want to prove, and my claim is this. Uh, it's important to learn how to prove. If I want to prove this, I use this identity that a minus b squared equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. If I apply it here, raise it to the power of 2, root x minus root 17 squared equal to root y squared. Then if I apply this identity here, it will be root x squared plus root 17 squared minus 2 times x times 17 equal to root y squared. Because y is positive, you can say right hand side is y. And let's simplify more. I can say root x squared, because x is positive, is x plus root 17 squared is 17 minus 2. There is a rule, you can say a times b equal to a, b if a and b are positive. Because maybe, for example, a is negative 2, b is negative 2, the product is 4, it's okay, but here you can't use this. If a and b are positive, you can use this. Now, because I know 17 and x are positive, it will be 17x equal to y. Now, you can pause the video and try the rest by yourself. So I write x plus 17 and take y to right side, this to left side, this to left side, this to right side. It will be minus y equal to 2 root 17x. Now here, I raise both sides to the power of 2. So if I do that, it will be x plus 17 minus y squared equal to 2 root 17x squared. It will be 2 squared times, we can say this, ab squared equal to a squared times b squared. If we apply this, root 17x squared, 2 squared is 4 times 17x, which will be 68x. Now I want to consider x. If you pay attention, I can call this one, for example, as uh, w. w, which w is integer, because x and y are positive integers, so w is integer. w squared is 68x, because so, we conclude w is even, because right hand side is even. So you can divide by four both sides is 17x. So then we can say, okay, it is w over 2 squared equal to 17x. Because w is even, w over 2 is integer. So you can consider w over 2 as, for example, r. So we conclude r squared equal to 17x. So here we conclude because uh, x, this part 17 times x should be perfect uh, square because r squared is perfect square. So here we can conclude right hand side is multiple of 17. So left hand side is also multiple of 17. So you can say r equal to 17 times s. So if you replace 17 s squared equal to 17 x. So 17 times 17 times s squared equal to 17x. If we divide both sides by 17 here, we can conclude 17 s squared equal to x. So it was exactly the things I wanted to prove that x should be k root 17. And here on. Uh, Sorry, here, let me tell you, I wanted to prove root x is k root this and root y is this. Okay, so let's change the claim. 
I wanted to prove root x, so x equal to, it is equivalent, but x equal to 17k squared, and here y equal to 17t squared. So we proved x equal to 17 instead of k squared, 17 s squared. It's exactly that. So we proved this. From here, you can say, okay, root x is s root 17, exactly the thing we wanted to prove. And similarly, we can say y equal to 17 times, for example, anything is squared, for example, q squared. So root y equal to q root 17. So we understand our example will be exactly examples in solution number one. But if it is a full solution exam like BMO round one, and you want to find all answers, this only solution number two works. So it was an important idea to find the form of x and y. If you want to learn these types of ideas that are useful in any exams, please, uh, at first, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments to learn important ideas that you should memorize and formulas in geometry, combinatorics, number theory, and algebra. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. And you can use my other playlist if you want hard problems, IMO playlist, also Promise Sumac, summer camps in USA, prestigious summer camps, also Olympiad exams, AMC, BMO for British, AMC for America, SMO for Singapore. If you want, you can use them to improve your problem solving. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.